Hey guys, welcome to another stretch Saturday and today I want to show you my favorite post run stretches. I just love to run almost every morning right now. I don't know, it just kind of keeps me grounded and so excited to start the day. But it's always so important to stretch afterwards. I know so many people forget about that and I thought I share just my favorite stretches with you today. I always love to start with some shoulder rolls. So just roll your shoulders up towards the ear, back down your spine and then down and forward and back up. And this is really nice to kind of loosen up your shoulders and your neck area. And then switch direction. And then take your left arm and windmill it forward, drawing a big circle with our hand, with our left hand, opening up the shoulders. It feels so good. And then switch directions from the back towards the front. And then we take our right arm, so windmill it back. Drawing the biggest circle you can and then forward. You can already feel my shoulders getting looser. This feels so, so good. All right, and two more big circles. And then clasp your hands behind your back. I show you from the side. And keep your shoulders away from your ears and just pull your hands toward the ground doing a mini back bend. This is really, really nice for opening up your chest and also relax your shoulders and take a deep breath in and out and again in and with an exhale fold forward just dangle here keep your head loose you can nod yes and no to loosen it up even further you can also move your upper body from side to side a little bit if you are a little bit tighter on your shoulders. And make sure to breathe deeply into the stretch. This feels so great. Next exhale, loosen your grip and, br oops, and bring your hands towards the ground for a really nice forward fold. This is really amazing for the back of your legs, for your hamstrings. They're probably a little bit tight from your run now. And it's also great for straightening your back and loosening up your spine. And then keep your left leg in front and step your right leg back a little bit. And then fold over your front leg with a straight spine. This again is a deeper stretch for your left hamstring, but you can also feel it in your right calf muscle. It's also a really great stretch if you wanna get into splits to get the hamstrings loosen up. And again, just let everything go. Deep breathly into the area that feels really tight. To 
to loosen it up and remember you can always go deeper if you just let go. Sometimes we block ourselves so much that we can't receive and if we just let go all of a sudden it happens. It's just another wonder of life. And then switch sides so your right foot comes in front and your left leg steps back and then again fold over your right leg. It's totally normal that one side a little bit tighter than the other. This is definitely my tight side right here. You can feel it in my hamstrings. Make sure to also push back your right hip a little bit so that your hips are even and this will also make a difference in your stretch. And then step back into a downward facing dog for my favorite calf stretch. The three-legged calf stretch or three-legged dog calf stretch. So you're in downward facing dog and you lift your left leg and really really feel a deep stretch in your right calf muscle. You can move around a little bit, maybe you have to let it go a little bit forward, almost in a plank position. Depends on how flexible you are or maybe you have to go a little bit further back but you should feel a right nice stretch in your right calf muscle. This area get re gets really tight during running so it's so important to stretch that. And then switch sides. to the middle and extend your legs wider than shoulder width apart so that you feel a little stretch in your inner thighs and then fold forward place your hands on one line with your feet elbows are pointing back and then fold down maybe your head touches your ground the ground or you just hang here and feel a nice hip opening stretch. And then fold over to your left side. You can grab your ankle or your feet, whatever you can reach, and pull your upper body towards your left leg. You can also close your eyes to feel the stretch more deeply and just sink into it and relax. And then switch sides, go over to your right leg.
and slowly crow back into the middle. Heel toe your feet together. And then slowly one vertebra at a time. Rise up to standing. Shoulders are last to rise. And then grab your right foot for quad stretch. Grab it at your ankle. You can also hold on to a chair or something if you're feeling a little wobbly. Make sure to push out your hip to have a deeper stretch in your quads muscle. And then slowly switch sides. And slowly let your feet go. Take a deep inhale, rise your arms up to the ceiling. And exhale, hands to heart, and you're done. Thank you for joining me today for these post-run stretches. I'm sure you're feeling all relaxed and ready to tackle the day or maybe end the day, <laughs> no matter when you're doing this right now. And make sure to hit the subscribe button to never miss out on the next stretching video, which will go up every Saturday. I can't wait to see you soon on the mat. Stay happy and healthy and have a great Saturday. Bye guys.